I'm Nick Luskin. We're here in Tokyo. I'm a radio DJ and broadcaster. And um, I had the opportunity recently to meet one of my favorite musicians who made a great number of records in the 80s. Her name is Hitomi Penny Toyama. And also, I didn't realize until we did the interview, but it was her very first interview in English on camera, which is incredible, actually. It's just like 40 years of making music. Anyway, we had a great conversation, which you're about to see. And I started off by asking her about her Okinawan roots and how she moved to Japan in the first place. When I was in Okinawa, it used to be America. Now it's Japan, yeah. but it used to be America. So I went to American school in Okinawa. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Japanese is... Uh, I learned when I came to Japan. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, okay. Because they have these Okinawan words, you know. You never been to Okinawa? I've never been. Ah, I've you should. Been. Because yeah. my grandmother and, you know, they, they only speak Okinawan uh, language. Okay. Yeah, so I learned Okinawan more than Japanese. So when right. I come to Japan, I speak Okinawan, they don't understand. So See. I only speak English. Yeah. And so how was that? How did you kind of, so when you moved to Japan, when? Or how were you when you came? From Okinawa, we went. My family they moved to America because my father is, you know, right, yeah. place. And so, when I went to America, it was like uh, I went to California, and I went to uh, Oakland High School. So, summertime, my sister she lived in Japan. You know, my sister didn't come with us to America. Mm. She went. She came to Japan because she was a singer in our family. Right. Yeah, okay. I wasn't. I never was interested in singing. So, really? You know. Yeah. So I wanted to visit my sister when I when she. So I came to Japan. Yeah. And then, I just stayed. <laughs> I didn't go back. Right. I see. Yeah, I loved Japan because it was so free. You know, like in the states, it's kind of you know you can't you can't mm. move around by yourself, right? You have to have a car, True, and so. you know, like you have to. You know, it's kind of dangerous to go somewhere, you know, by yourself and stuff like that. Yeah, so I yeah. thought that was the world. But when I come to Japan, it was so free. You know, you could just walk around by yourself midnight. Nothing right. happens. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and the trains and, you know, like, yeah. so I just wanted to stay. I didn't go back, so I didn't graduate. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> but then you just, you got into me. You were into music before that, presumably, anyway, right? So in the States. I was never interested in music. Really? Yeah. I mean, uh, I love music. I was yeah. listening, like... When I was in the States, I used to listen to Marvin Gaye, you know, because all my friends were, they were all, you know, soul singers. Uh, soul, they, they were into soul, so, you know. But when I came to Japan, um, I just loved listening, but I never thought I would sing. Really? Yeah, because my sister was a singer in Japan, so she, she sings in the clubs, like Ginza and stuff. Yeah. And so I would just stay home, and she would give me a Juyen, 10 yen. If something happens, just call. <laughs> I don't have to just walk around. <laughs> yeah, and so then someday, somehow, you know, I came, I went to her club. And I saw, you know, she just let me sit there, you know, with the customers. Mm. And the customer says, how come you don't sing, you know? Your sister's a good singer. Maybe you should sing too, yeah, yeah. you know? And so my sister, she goes, okay, Penny, come and sing. And I'm going, no, 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 you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I, what, what song do I sing? She goes, sing anything, you know? And I sang, Sunny. The song called Sunny nice. yesterday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all of a sudden, everybody just went, huh? <laughs> you know, they go, Penny, you shouldn't be a singer, you know. You wow. should go, you yeah, should choose yeah. another, you know, job because even your sisters, you know, you guys are different. And goes, yeah, of course, I knew that, you know. Yeah. And then my sister, she goes, ha, she thanked my sister. She, 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 she just got angry. She goes, no, my sister's going to be a singer, you know. And I was going, gosh, <laughs> I don't want to be so the pressure was on you then, kind yeah, of. Yeah, and that's how I be that's how I be became a singer. It's interesting. Yeah, wow, okay. because I joined my sister's band. Mm. I was like 17, you know, 18, 17, 18. Right. And then um, I only have one song. Like they have 45 minutes stage three times, and I only <laughs> sing one song. And what am I doing? It's just you know tambourine and dancing. Yeah. Because my sister is a main singer. Right. Then all of a sudden, my sister goes, "You should have one song," you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what song was my first what was song? was it? No, I don't know. <laughs> it was Michael Jackson's Ben. Was it? Yeah. So Michael Jackson is uh, my hero, I think, because, I don't know, they say, you know, choose one song, you know, then I just listened to him, and I just listened to this Ben, mm. Ben, the two, and it was so beautiful voice, you know, yeah, and yeah. he was so young. Yeah. So I was inspired, and I wanted to sing that song, you know. So wow. That so was you my first. sang that song at the different performances. Yeah. So. And that was my first song that I worked, you know, mm. when I 
as a work as a singer, I sang that song. So I al- yeah. I also sing now too because you know it brings back the memories whenever、yeah. I get you know frustrated or something. I just listen to Ben. Go yeah, back to the、sure. beginning, and you know, kind of grounds you again. Yeah, yeah. That's so nice.、Yeah. Wow. Okay. And then, did you kind of expand that repertoire? Is that what you did? You gradually kind of incorporate more yeah. songs. Yeah. Yeah. Then my sister, she gave me other songs to sing, like two songs, but it was all Michael Jackson song. And、yeah. then, then all of a sudden,、um, she goes, "Why don't you do solo? You know, you get away from me. <laughs> like, do your own." I'm going, "No, I can't. You know, I'm, I'm not a singer. You know."、Mm. And then I. Then I guess I guess I was、uh, scouted or something. And she, I joined a chorus group, in, uh, and then it was called first. It was called Street Girls, <laughs> and then we changed the name to Joy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then、uh, we started to do a background choruses for the you know other artists.、Mm-hmm. And then the producer, you know, saw me and you、mm. know, they wanted to me. To be, you know, why don't you become a solo singer, you know, instead of group? And I'm going, no, for two years, I'm going, no, 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 because I never had an original. Because we always sing covers, right? Yeah. And we、okay. have to sing, and I have to sing it in Japanese if you're going to debut, right? And I never sang in Japanese, so I was、wow. so scared. I guess、Just、I didn't、nervous. have confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was going, no, 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 you know, I want to. If I'm going to debut, I want to debut with the group, like with Joyce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They go, no, 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 but. I should be thankful now to think about it because he didn't give up. You know, he kept on coming like for、right. two years. And then finally, I said yes. So he had a plan for you then. He was thinking、yeah. this person probably could、yeah. you know, release albums. He had、yeah. a vision for、yeah. where you could go. Yeah.、And、so then, that was my first album. So yeah. So how did it go from that to this then? What was the kind of roots? What, what were the well, next steps? Well, the producer he loved he loved music. He was in synco music, very famous, and he he was、uh, producing a lot of artists that was very famous, you know,、mm. like rock singers. And then he quit and he made his own office. So I was the I was a second artist. I, I, I was I was a second artist, I guess. Yeah. And then he we made a demo tape.、Uh, My guy is in this album, but、yeah. it's called My Guy. We made a demo tape and then we put we went to all the record places.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I guess the Columbia liked it, so. Right. You know, but we wanted to be.、Uh, my guy was supposed to be a single for you know single, because we loved it. You know, it's kind of kind of like a soul. Yeah,、thing. yeah. But the Columbia people they wanted more pop, so they made it. I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Right, right. That's how we. We. That's how I guess I debuted. So just call me Penny. An incredible record, and part of the reason for that, of course, is some of the musicians on this record. The list is unbelievable. I mean, you've got Will Lee, Steve Jordan, one of the greatest rhythm sections that I've ever heard, and lucky enough to have seen at one point.、Um, you've got the King of Sax himself, Jake Conception. He's on this.、Um, Elton Nagata as well, playing Rhodes and piano. I mean, I could go on, but it's all listed, thankfully.、Um, what an incredible session this must have been. And I asked Penny what it was like. The band. I know there's two songs in this album that Twenty Four, Twenty Four Street Band, you know,、mm. um, is playing for us. You yeah, know. yeah. But the others, they're all, all、uh, band member. So you know, it was easy for me to sing because we used to sing together in the band. You know.、Uh, right. Yeah. So I guess it became. But it was all Japanese, so it was kind of different groove. You know. I mean, the, yeah. The groove is the same, but the words, you know, the the lyrics and all the things, you know, it's kind of. And you know, it was so it was so difficult for me because the producer says、um, he fixed all my Japanese. You know, when I sing like English, like in Japan,、oh, he goes,、right, "No,、really? that's that's kind of like English, you know." So correct. So, yeah, yeah. So I'm going, "Why?" You know, and the lyrics, the words, you don't cut here. You know, you have to continue singing. No、mm. breath here. You know, going, right? <laughs>、yeah. so, so difficult, you know. Yeah, oh, so, so you have to do that as well as the you know performance and the yeah, kind of yeah, and I sing, and I have to memorize the the words and yeah, you know,、yeah. like I was mostly in the studio, yeah, because they you know even just a little bit, little bit just just a, maybe one you know just a little bit funny thing they fix it you know right and I'm、okay. going I'm saying what you know yeah yeah just let it go you know yeah, with the、fine. flow you know、yes. and it was no penny that's funny. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So I guess I was. I guess they were my teacher. Yeah. I didn't go to school, music school, or anything like that. But you、yeah. know, recording was like a school. Sure. Yeah. For me, you know. So it、and、was fun. Did you 
kind of because you know we look at the kind of list of musicians yeah. that work on this and it's like it's the best of the best right it's yeah. like an incredible yeah bunch of musicians did you you know for someone so young making this record and your first time in the studio did you appreciate that or did you just think yeah everyone has musicians oh, like no, this no no i i was like I was like a kitten, you know, in the whole night, people's alliance. I'm going, what? What, what, what am I supposed to do? You know, I was, yeah, yeah. And it was so new. Everything was so new, you know, because I have to go to this big Colombian records, you know, a recording studio, and I'm by myself, right, mm -hmm. with the headphone, and everybody's out there, you know, when, yeah. and then I'm just going, what, what, what am I supposed to do? You know, listen to the karaoke and sing. And I'm going, ah, and they go, so wait a minute, please. Just mm -hmm. wait a little bit. And they're talking over there. I'm going, they must be talking about me, you know? Yeah, right. <laughs> and then, you know, I was so nervous. But uh, when the band played, they, 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 they record the band first, right? Mm. And I have to, like, sing. I don't have to sing perfectly, but, you know, to let them know yeah, what yeah. kind of song. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah, imagine. because it was like a, like a live concert, you know, like, play, they just play. Sure. And then I'm just singing it, you know. I was used to that, so. Yeah. I was never used to karaoke, so. It's kind of hard, you know, just to record voices. Yeah. 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 But I, I had, but I, but it, I guess it was. So I have nothing to think about. I was just going. I wish you would finish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I enjoyed or you know. <laughs> right. Was, okay. It was so much for me. You know? The first album was like that. I love that. You know, you were you were in no way intimidated by it. It was just like, yep, this is just kind of guys making great music yeah. and I'm part of that process, and and it felt really natural. Yeah. Yeah, and I have one. Mem memory in this album, it's called Baby Baby. And that was the first song that uh, the singer, uh, the, uh, the, the writer wrote for mm. me. And then we met in Shinjuku. I'll never forget, we met in Shinjuku and he gave me this cassette tape, you know, it oh, was nice. a tape. Yeah, you know? yeah. And he goes, hey, listen, this is the first song that I, I wrote. It's going to be your first original. And then, but we didn't have the, uh, the player. So we went to this uh, uh, department store. <laughs> Yeah. You know, where they sell, uh, yeah, well, they sell studios them. and stuff. And so right. we put the cassette tape and we just listened there. It's <laughs> so cute, huh? Now I'm so thinking nice. we were so cute and so, you know, and we listened to it. I'm going, wow, that sounds good. You know, and then we go, ah, oh, yeah. And then we talk it in the, in the, in the, in the you know, the man comes. What are you guys doing? Yeah, you're going to buy this? <laughs> no, oh, sorry. It's, it's like a movie, right? You yeah. take the cassette and then, you know, that was uh, really, that was Baby Baby was the first original he wrote. Yeah, yeah. Then he wrote My Guy and everything like that. Tokyo in the 2020s, I mean, what a city. It's incredible. There's so much going on. There's so much music being made. It's like a paradise if you're into arts, music, and culture. But Tokyo in the 80s, I mean, that was completely different. And it was kind of off the scale in terms of the amount of money that was being spent and the amount of musicians that were kind of passing through Tokyo. And the musicians here as well, of course, you know, just incredible, incredible times. Um, I really wanted to know what that was like, so I asked Penny. It was really fun, I think, because the discos and the clubs and um, everybody dancing, you know, I mean, it, it was so, like a little it was really like, a, it's a place to go, you know. It, yeah, it was really, really, really fun. And the music was, I guess every 80s, I guess a lot of uh, uh, people debuted in the 80s, you know, mm. like they're famous right now, you know, they have the hit yeah. songs and stuff. So I guess it was really, really fun for me. Mm. Because I was just recording, then sleep, recording <laughs> and sleep, and around here I go to disco, then I just, you know, stress is all out. So I guess sure. there was a lot of places to go. Everywhere you go, there's a lot of good music, you know. And I missed American music because I have to sing all in Japanese, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, so when I go to disco, you know, they play the, you know, the songs that I used to sing. So a lot of places in Japan were so like discos were playing yeah, American music at yeah, the time as well. Yeah, yeah. They, I think I went to the place where they play Japanese music. Right, okay. I guess it was all American music. Yeah. Yeah. It was so fun, Euro, Europe beat and, you know, yeah. soul, funk. Right. And there are places that, you, if you like funk, go there. You know, if you like, you know, Europe beat, go there, you know. Right, yeah. So we could just cheese. <laughs> How did you kind of then move to the next record? What was the kind of process? Was it just a case just constantly, you know, like, right, we're doing another record now? Yeah, because the studio. first album was like, was a theme was like, we wanted to do what we wanted to do, you know, and the songs and, um, and the music. And the second album, Out of Array, was like, they wanted, the Columbia people, they wanted more pop. 
they wanted to make it more pop. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so we we listened, and there was one singer. He's really famous now, and then it's called Tulip. And uh, my producer used to produce him. So mm. you know, he he wanted him to come to this album. Mm, I see. Yeah. 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 He he wrote me one song. Yeah. And then I would sing one of his songs. You know, and it's like a folk 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 song, folk mm. song pops. Yeah, and it was kind of new to me, you know. I mean, I never sang that kind of song, but new style. Yeah, yeah, yeah but they arranged it like uh, more, more like rock pops, you know. Right, so uh, it was okay. easy for me to sing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but we wanted to put a little soul taste, one song in too. So we air mail was uh, kind of so you know like a, put a lot of chorus in. Yeah, yeah. And my sister joined me in this album. Oh right, yeah, okay. Yeah, she, yeah. So it was. Uh, it was kind of yeah. I guess it was fun too. You know, it was kind yeah, of new yeah. to me. You know, like singing something simple, not simple, but you know, I kind of never sang that kind of song before. You know, yeah. so cute. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, when I first got, that, I'm going, oh, it's so cute. I can't sing this. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's too cute. Office date. You know, it's so cute. You know. Yeah, like, yeah. And you know, just sing like you like. You know, <laughs> 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 you just sing as you like. You know, okay. <laughs> So you were given a lot of control in terms of how you perform. Yeah. Is that right? The, the, yeah. The people in the, in, in the kind of like, you know, the people you're working with were yeah. just trusted you to kind yeah, of do yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. They trusted me in some ways, but but one song is not in this, uh, it's in this album, Next Door. Yeah. The next, then we went to move to Next Door. Then Next Door used to be, title was a Next Girl Next Door. Oh, I but they wonder. said, yeah, yeah, but they made it short. You know, they yeah. wanted to make it short, so they sure. next door. And they wanted, then we wanted to do more disco like sound. Yeah. Because it was like, you know, disco was you know, really boom. So yeah, we yeah. wanted to do it, uh, disco, disco sound. So the, I guess Next Door was uh, first disco sound, you know, like the songs that I've been yeah, singing. Yeah, yeah, sure. So yeah. it was really fun. And it's you dancing on the front, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was supposed to be dancing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so she goes, oh, pity, don't move, look down. <laughs> don't look up, don't look down. <laughs> Is that right? Is that how you got song? <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, and, and but this song, I have more, a lot of memories because um, there's one song called Goodbye, and I couldn't sing this song, you know, before recording. Um, the, 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 the guy who wrote the song, mm. uh, he would play his, his guitar and, you know, sing, you know, the, the yeah, rehearsal yeah. like before recording. But it was like 16 beat in Japanese. I couldn't do, I couldn't get that beat, you know. I, I don't know, it was so hard for me. I thought I was doing it right, but you know, he was so good into me. So he's my really teacher, you know. Yeah, yeah. Then he would, he would scold me, like, Penny, it's not wrong, you know. You're not doing it, get the rhythm, you know, I'm going. Recently, all if it, you know, all the records, you know, like I'm just call me Penny. I mean, just sing like you like, you know. But this song, he was so, so strict, you know. I, okay. Yeah, yeah. Then, I, then all of a sudden, I couldn't. I, I got lost, and I couldn't. I didn't know what what to do. So yeah. I, I started to cry. I can't sing this song. He goes, Well, okay, just take it back tonight and you know listen to it again. You know, and, and then I'm going. <laughs> it must yeah. be hard, right? Yeah, that was sometimes. the first time yeah. that you know. That I couldn't sing like what I wanted to. Yeah, sure. Because I, then he was so strict in rhythm. Yeah, yeah. I'm really thankful now, but you know, at that time I was going, gosh, I've never worked with him again. Right, but, yeah. But uh, then next time and next day, I don't know, all of a sudden I, I could do it, you know. Yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. So that was a good Just vibe. Just like clicked. Yeah, overnight. yeah, it clicked. Amazing, yeah. Yeah. So so many happenings and so many, you know, things went with uh when recording because all yeah. I've been doing is recording, doing lives, recording lives. Yeah, yeah. So you know, it was really all of the album that I have. The album Sexy Robot came out in 1983 and that's the one. That's the one that everyone knows. It's killer really. That record's incredible. And I asked Penny what her memories were at that time. I love this album and I have so many memories in this album, you know. And we have to ask Valerie and uh, Jane, uh, not James, uh, Freddie to do the background chorus, but mm. they have to sing it in Japanese too, some, some. And they work until 4 a.m. <laughs> they, they come to Colombia in like 1, 1 a.m., uh, 1 p.m., you know, right. to record. Yeah. But, uh, but I always wonder, how, how do they do that? You know, they're perfect. And then they, they sleep a little bit and they go to work around seven. 
Really? Yeah, like they just, they just, they, they, when they come to recording, they just go, ah, and they just sing, and they're going, God, what kind of throat they have, you know? Yeah, <laughs> right. Well, this guy's a robot anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, right, he, but... yeah, he's a robot. <laughs> <laughs> and Still. Valerie and Freddie's there back in the States, but James, he's still in Tokyo. He lives yeah, in Yeah, he's in Yokohama, yeah. Right, okay. And he does gig, gigs sometimes around, too. He's in. Yeah. This has got a real kind of, like, a kind of New York kind of feel to it, yeah. as well, this record. They wanted to a uh, synth bass, you know, synth, synth, yeah. synthesizer bass. I don't know what, I don't know. The uh, arranger wanted a synthesizer bass on this album, right. mostly. Yeah. Well, not the real bass, but so I guess it was, and the musicians in this was very, yeah. I mean, very, very uh, famous, uh, famous the, at that time. Um, now sure, too, yeah, but, you know, the studio, the studio musicians. Yeah. Yeah, they were coming and they, they loved. You know, I was so thankful because uh, when they recorded my song, they all liked the songs. You know, so they, they enjoy it, you know. I That's guess they right. like the soul music too, you know. It sounds like that when you listen to the record, right? That's yeah. the thing that runs through everything. Yeah. It's like everybody sounds like they're really enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, they enjoyed it. And yeah. uh, even the chorus enjoyed it too because it, it, yeah. it, it's not like, ha oh, oh, ha, no, no. they had yeah. the words and it's yeah, like, yeah. you know, wow, you know, the chorus is the main, you know. <laughs> sure. Again, you know, did you... From the first album, when you were kind of thinking, yeah, this is just kind of how it is, to this record, were you sort of thinking, wow, this band and this, you know, I know you, it sounds like you've always appreciated yeah, yeah. everything, but with this record particularly, did you think, wow, this is just amazing, immense yes, musicians? Yes, did you yes, totally, yes, yeah. very, very amazing, because uh, the musicians, I would be there when they, you know, in the, when they record, right? Yeah. Other albums, I wasn't there that much. Yeah. yeah because okay. I have to practice, you know, I have to, I have no time to just enjoy listening to yeah, the album. Yeah. But uh, on this album, I went to all the uh, re uh, rehearsals, not rehearsals, recordings, you know, yeah. and I would see the musicians there. They were so, I mean, it, to me, it was amazing too because of the live musician and the recording musician, their some techniques are so different too. Yeah, because they said the recording musicians, they have so many ideas. You know, like we go, yeah. no, we want it more like, you know, so and so. And he goes, okay, how about this? You know, I guess that's why they're, they're mis uh, studio musicians. Yeah, that's right? what they say. Yeah, you know? true, true. And I would just go, what? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know about the music that much, so much, just singing. Yeah, what, yeah. what did they say? What? What's the, what? what? Like, yeah, so yeah. You do, how about this? How about this? You know, and this uh, number sign, the synth synthesizer player would say, how about this? You know, they go, that's great. Yeah. Musician talk. I yeah. could get in. I'm just going, <laughs> that was so much fun. And mostly, this album was so much, it was really difficult for me was the lyrics. You know, like I would record, okay, it's a recording tonight, you know, okay, so I'm ready. So can I have the lyrics? They go, oh, sorry, it's not done yet. What? Oh, really? Yeah, and then I would sing just, you know, then how then how are we going to record? Oh, please, just wait a little bit here. Then I'm just waiting. <laughs> and going, hey, and talking to the musicians and having fun. And the lyrics are super writing. Okay, wow. okay, I got it. Then I have to put that into music, right? Melody, right? Yeah. So I couldn't sing it, you know, right away. So I have to take it back home. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> then I would come back the next day and we would put it. Yeah. And then, then the lyric writer would come and say, I don't like that word. I think I'll change it. <laughs> All the songs was all like that. So Just I constantly changing. Yeah, changing, changing, changing because they want to make it perfect. And then I was mostly in the studio when I was recording this. I guess I, I it seemed like I lived there. <laughs> you must have done, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we would sleep like ten like one hour and go, Penny, it's time for you to sing. I'm going, really? And I'm going, <laughs> sexy, rub it up. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> And I would sleep again. And, okay, okay, next song. Okay, like that. Just oh. like that. But it was so much fun. While waiting, I would be sleeping or playing games, you know, with the with the bands, you know. What kind of games do you play? So, so, like, I, don't know, I don't know if it's now they have it, but it's like a soccer game, you know, like with oh, lots yeah, of. Yeah, uh, yeah. So like yeah, yeah, football, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. In and between then, takes, takes and, and we'll be eating lunch, dinner, breakfast. <laughs> Oh, so, sounds cool, yeah. Yeah, because the um, producer was so into it. Yeah, yeah. But but I'm thankful for that, too, because, you know, I got kind of, you know, tired, you know, because, you know, no lyrics and I knew that. And I got frustrated, so I was like, gosh, I don't want to sing anymore. You know, I'm just going to rush you. And he said, Henry, this is your album, you know. <laughs> and if you 
if you, I don't want you to regret it, you know, like 10 years, 20 years, you yeah. know, I want you to, you know, listen to it and say, God, it's a good album. But if you regret a little bit, maybe you would not want to listen to it. Ooh, I, I have, my rhythm is off, you know, like, oh, the, the words are funny, you know, like, yeah. so I don't want you to feel that way. That's why we're making it perfect. It's for you, not for us, you know? Sure, yeah. <laughs> and have you, you know, since then, did you have time to listen to this record and your records generally? Yeah. Yeah? I would always listen to it because I would so have to good. do a live after recorded. So I have to memorize it. Yeah, and even now I listen to it, you know. And do you, yeah, I sing I mean, this. Do you still like it, right? Yeah, I sing it. Yeah. Of incredible. course, I have new songs too, but you know, um, I was so thankful when Colombia, Anderson, he, he called and he said that he's going to not, not know. Reissue. Yeah, reissue. Yeah, yeah. So I have to listen to it. I'm so, wow, it's a good song. <laughs> Well, Penny's output in the 80s was incredible. 11 albums in 10 years, so much good music, and so much joy in that music, so soulful. But it must have been intense to be making that much music in that short amount of time. And I just wondered, how did Penny manage to maintain that energy? Yeah, it was exhausting. I was exhausted all my albums. <laughs> I was exhausted. But yeah. after it was done, and I have to, because I made, I was so perfect on this, because uh, I, I yeah. did my best. Yeah, yeah. But after next day, it's not the best anymore because I, you know, it's different feeling, right? So I have, so I can express that in my life, you know. So that that was so fun for me, you know, recording. I did my best. This was my hundred percent. I, I can't give any more, you know. I'm going. Yeah. yeah. Then yeah. next day, I'm going. I'm Genki, right? I'm fine. So maybe I could sing more, you know. When I listen to it, maybe I should. I could do that more, or like put that into, you know, more, more. Then right. that. I could do that in my concert, right? So, yeah. the, so I guess um, I, I guess all the singers are like that. You know, that's why I guess it's fun. You know, just music is fun because it's not. Mm. But some some songs I have to sing exactly like it because a fan likes it. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah because they don't want to, you know. Yeah. Why do you sing like gospel? I mean, this is so simple. And I'm going, oh, sorry, I wanted to try it. He goes, don't try that. Yeah, yeah. But other songs are, you know, like you can, you know, like you can. Ballet, do, yeah, just yeah, do yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what I like about music, maybe. Because it's it's not always the same, you know. It's it's the mm. same, but but when you grow up, you know, like when you grow in ages, you know, you, yeah. you, you, can, you don't, like when I sing the cute song, Office Day or something, I mean, I can't sing like, I, I'm not on my 20s, but you know, I was on my 20s, so I can remember it, right? Yeah, yeah. But I, probably I cannot sing like 70s because I'm not 70 yet, but you know, it's 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 kind of, that is kind of fun, you know, yeah. and expressing. Yeah, it's like maybe actress or you know, they could yeah, act any, okay, yeah, yeah, sense. yeah. I think it's really fun for me. Yeah, definitely. Mm. What is it about this era or, or this music that you, do you think has a kind of appeal to a new generation? Well, I guess, to me too, I like the 70s and 80s songs and music. Mm. And I guess to the people, young people or you know, older people, but older people probably is like me. You know, it's, it's like, wow, you know, that, those were the days, you know, they like to listen to it, you know. Mm. To the young people, I guess it's new. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, like Earth and Wind and Fire, it probably is new to them too, you know, like the horn section and stuff like that. You know, to us, it's like, mm, you know. But to the young people, it's kind of new to them, I think. So, yeah. so the 80s pop, city pops to not only my album, but a lot of 80s singers, you know, they made, you know, really nice albums. So I guess to, to them, to the listeners, probably it's new mm. or it's like taking them back somewhere. You know, they just listen to the music and they go, wow, you know, I, I don't know why, but I like it. You know? yeah, it yeah. yeah, I'm comfortable. Right. I miss this, you know. Yeah. Maybe it's kind of that kind of feeling probably make makes it, you know, the '80s and uh, city pops. Because I listen to '80s soul music, disco music, and I really like it. You know, I mean, like '80s. Yeah. Probably, the, probably maybe that's the same feeling. You know, the new listeners. You know, they listen same to thing, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They go, wow. In Japan, they had they made this kind of music. You know, yeah. it's in Japanese, but I like it. You know. Yeah, yeah. And and one thing I'm really happy is because. In our days, when we wanted to, you know, like to really go over world, mm. they told us that they have to have perfect English or sing in English, you know, like no. But so it was kind of hard for, I guess, an artist, you know, Japanese artist, to go to the world. But now, it, 80s is Japanese, you know. It's, they don't yeah, sing yeah. in English. You don't have to sing in English. That's right? true, isn't it? Yeah. 
it's so strange, you know, how the world goes around, you know? Yeah, that's absolutely a good point. Yeah, all those people who were just, just desperately trying to sing English and learn. Yeah, and right. Learn the biggest, the more people listen to pure Japanese music yeah, now than, yeah. than so, that anyway. So. Yeah, that's what I'm really happy about yeah. right now. Uh, the people that, you know, listening to uh, 80s music, like yeah. City Pops, because they don't have to change it or you don't have to, you know, change it to English again, but they like it in Japanese, exactly. I guess. It's like us, we don't, like other people, they don't, they don't, they don't know English, but you know, they just with me Houston and they cover it, you know, they don't know what the meaning, but they sing it, right? That's true. I, I think it's, it's like that now too, Japanese, yeah, like, yeah. like uh, they don't, they don't speak Japanese, but no. probably they will be singing in Japanese. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Learning, you know, just kind of, yeah. just feeling that vibe. Yeah. Place. So that's kind of so, 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 I never thought it would happen. If you had to pick one song from, you know, everything you've recorded. Yeah. Do you, do you have any idea what that one song would be? Yeah, is there one song that sums it all up for you or has the best kind of memory every time you think about it? Well, I have, yeah, yes, there's, there's a lot of, uh, in Japan, they like my ballads. Oh, very, but I think I would say 60 Robot because this this album made it me to come here and interview, getting interviewed and, you know, everything, you know. <laughs> I guess this, this and this, Next Door and, uh, this made it happen, so I guess I have to say, "Sexy Robot." Cool. Oh, exotic <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm oh, they're just both. Have to yeah, 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 yeah. Sexy Robot. Yeah, I guess because I was so happy. I had this one concert in um, Takada no Baba. It was alive. It's a, it's a small place, mm. and this uh, there was two American and one Japanese, and uh, beautiful ladies. And I thought they weren't my fan because I was I had a duet with a other singer too. I thought it was yeah. the person, you know, fan. I was like, is she a fan? Because no, I don't know them. And at the last moment, they had, they put this up. They go, Penny! Oh, really? And they just came from New York. And I bought this in New York record shop. I was going, what? <laughs> because I never... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was so surprised. They were young people. <laughs> I was going, wow, really? Yeah, I was so... And hey, where did you get this? I got this in New York when I, I just got from New York and I got this in New York. I was like, what? They sell my album in New York? <laughs> Penny, thank you so much. Yeah, it's been thank amazing you so to much. Yeah. Big thanks to Penny for her time, her generosity, and uh, just the fact that she answered everything with such kind of spirit and such energy as well. It's really brilliant to meet her. And the fact that her albums are being reissued and re-released just speaks volumes about how great her music is and how it's like totally stood the test of time. Um, thank you very much to Penny. Thanks to Music Bar 45 as well. If you're ever in Shibuya, do pop by. And thank you very much to you for watching. We'll be back again for more very soon. I've been Nick Luskin. Thank you. <laughs>